Occupational science is still a fairly young discipline. In order to promote and develop the new field in mainland Europe, experts from around the globe have gathered in Hildesheim, Germany. At HWK, University of Applied Sciences and Arts, Hildesheim Holzmann in Göttingen, they have discussed new insights. Occupational science is a developing science of research about the everyday things that people like to do. Um, or things that they might not like to do, but are required to do. Um, the things that are a part of our life that we engage in and that give meaning to our life and tell us who we are. Um, the things I do are different from your activities. Some we share. And um, this is an interesting thing to learn about, to understand the individual and to understand groups of people. Dr. Anne Roberts from the United Kingdom is the chairwoman of the occupational science movement in Europe. So when I trained to be an occupational therapist, we learned about crafts mainly, and we were told that those were the things that were therapeutic, but it didn't have that underpinning science and it didn't have a, a research base from, from within occupational therapy. So the beginnings of occupational science has enabled us to go back to our roots and look at how we can do research to show how this works, which will then make it better for us to be able to prescribe occupations for people in order to help them get, get better or in order to help them integrate better in their communities. The young field of research is a vital part of the curriculum at the Faculty of Social Work and Health at HWK in Hildesheim. Occupational science contributes to new developments in occupational therapy. One aspect of occupational science is to help elderly people to arrange their everyday life after they have retired. Retirement usually changes one's personal living circumstances quite drastically, which can even cause a deep crisis. In order to help, you first of all have to determine the role that those people had in their previous lives. Based on that, you can help them assume a new role in life and experience fulfillment again. For that, however, you have to use successful life plans as a point of reference. This is what occupational science is about, and this knowledge directly influences therapeutic practices. The European approach helps to generate new ideas in the Anglo-American context. More diverse ideas here in the European context. The other difference is that people are trying to engage occupational science with occupational therapy in a bi-directional way. We are all contributing different aspects, different understandings, different cultural backgrounds to understanding what occupation means, not just one way um, uh, from an American viewpoint at all. So I'm eager to learn as I started out in occupational science. This conference is really important because it, for, for occupational science in Europe, because it's moved away from United Kingdom and Ireland into mainland Europe, into a country that's, whose first language is not uh, English. So it feels like it has now morphed properly into Europe. So I think it's a really important historic event, this one. Particularly having a conference here where I think the majority of people come from a different language background um, and different life experiences. Fabulous, really good, really rich conversations. My favourite thing about this conference is to reconnect with people and to be inspired by their perspectives. Having a chance to be here in person, to dialogue with people, to hear about their work, to share my work actually helps to create those opportunities to move that idea forward. Wir werden eine We're going to establish a German-speaking occupational science group and we will continue our research beyond this conference. Weitermachen über diese Konferenz hinaus.